Welcome to my Valheim Pack Mule series. I created a mod which basically requires me to be a pack mule because I'm not allowed to store any items. Anything I want to keep has to stay in my inventory at all times. I was excited to show my wife my first mod, but since she's never played Valheim, I decided to take her along for an entire playthrough. Join us as I play through all of Valheim with only the gear on my back. Okay, so, <laughs> I wrote a mod uh, for Valheim, so it plays like a game mode on RuneScape, uh, which is Ultimate Iron Man, but the main premise of the game mode is that you can't use anything but your own inventory. You can't store items, you know, you can't, in RuneScape it's a, ch it's a bank account, you put all your items in a bank, in Valheim you get chests and random stuff like that to put stuff in. So the whole point of it is it doesn't let you put any of your stuff into chests. You can't drop items and save them for later on the ground. Um, you have to work out of your inventory. So yeah, so that's what's that's what's going on. A lot of the early game stuff is going to be very similar to how a normal playthrough would be in that you're kind of just running around doing stuff and you don't have a base to store stuff in anyway. So the first part of it's not really different. Um, right now I'm just running around collecting basic resources, you know, wood and stone and flint, and yeah, and there's a beehive I found. Fantastic. <laughs> so... Did you build this house? Where is this house coming from? No, so this gets, this is just randomly generated structure, um, but this is showing part of the not being able to store resources. Normally when you break apart stuff like this, it drops the materials to build them so there'd be a bunch of wood on the ground and that's normally a way to get resources early pretty easily is by just breaking apart these structures and then you get like 50 wood but i don't i don't do that just so you can't like store the resources in that way by building something and deconstructing it later um there's some boar i'm killing for for meat and for leather scraps which you need to make a lot of so you're saying that you altered <laughs> it such that the buildings won't drop things yeah, that's part yeah, of what you did. Yeah, because normally they drop. Normally they drop everything you build into it. So if I wanted to store a bunch of wood, I could. Well, I could just build a log pile that's literally just a pile of wood. Um, but anything like that, if you build it and then deconstruct it, it doesn't drop anything. Um, but yeah, that beehive was helpful because bees give you honey, um, and honey is used to make like uh, potions. I guess are they called potions? Whatever they're called. They're, they're used to make a lot of helpful stuff. Um, so I'm going to have to go put that in my base at some point. But right now, also, you kill a lot of boar and deer early because you need their meat for food. Um, because it helps you survive. But it, And then their leather scraps and the deer hide also are used to make a lot of the weapons and tools and stuff. Deer are also very hard to kill, so I was very glad I got that one. <laughs> Normally they run away and they run faster than you, so you have to get like a bow to actually be able to kill them. Um, or a spear to throw at them. But, yeah, so a lot of this, a lot of this early game. Let's see, do I have enough to make anything? Yeah, I think I make a bow and a, a spear. Yeah, so we got flint and stuff to make the spear. We got a bunch of leather scraps to make the bow. Um, but the first boss, you have to get a couple of these trophies, these deer trophies. I have one because I got, I killed a deer. Um, but now the bow will make it a lot easier. The bow and arrows make it a lot easier to kill more deer. Um, but yeah, not a ton. It goes on in the early game. <laughs> just gathering a bunch of resources. And normally I feel like you'd be setting up your base so that you just kind what, of bring What is that? That's a grayling. Um, those are like the mobs in the in the uh, meadows. They're not very strong. Um, I think the boar deer mark. <laughs> that is creepy. Yeah. Why don't you kill it? I'm about to, but they're they're not very strong. I think the boar do more damage than they do. Um, and they don't drop. They drop resin, which is not very useful for anything. So I generally don't prioritize killing them. Um, let's see where we're at. So I have, I have two deer trophies now from killing some deer. I think right now I'm still just kind of exploring everywhere because I want to figure out where to build my base because with not being able to tear down 
the structures and rebuild them somewhere. I want to make sure I'm building in a good spot. So I'm spending a lot of time early just scouting out everywhere. Right now I'm resting by the fire to get a rested buff, which helps you regenerate stamina faster and I'm cooking the boar meat and the I don't know what stamina is. Well, stamina you need stamina to run or to attack, basically. Okay. So it'll be there'll be a little yellow bar that shows up on the bottom when I start running or doing anything that you'll see. That goes down whenever you're running or attacking. Rested helps you recover it faster. Okay. Um, so if you you have to sit like by a fire, and normally it's sheltered somewhere, but you can just sit by a fire as well, and then you get like eight minutes of rested buff, and that'll go up if you're in a, a more restful place, <laughs> as in like you built a home and it's got a, a nice hearth and it's got some like a nice rug on the ground, and <laughs> like you can build a lot of stuff to help that get your rested buff higher. Um, but so I've gone around and collected a bunch of stuff. What's that glowy rock? Well, that's just a fire. That this is ether. I know so what a fire is. This is for you talking about this over yes. here. So that's a that's just a stone. You normally find those out in the world, and it'll direct you to where the boss is. Okay. So like it'll put a little thing on the map here. Um, I just summoned ether by using the two deer trophies on the altar. But yeah, those those red stones. What altar? It's right in the middle, right there. Oh, all right. Um, but those stones will show up in random places. I think for Ether, it's just at the start you get a stone that points you to it. But it'll put it on the map for you so that you can go find the boss. Um, but yeah, each zone, each biome, has those that'll point you to the, where the boss is at. Um, and this is just the Ether fight. He's very easy. He's a deer boss. It's for the first, for Meadows, it's not very hard. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm not super worried about it anyways because so the only about the only advantageous thing that I have added um, for the mod is that when I die, um, normally everything will get dropped in a gravestone and you have to come back and pick everything up. But since that's a way that you can use to store items, I just make it so that you keep everything in your inventory. It doesn't drop a gravestone, but you don't you don't have to run back and pick stuff up. So if you die. Um, you lose like a little bit of experience, which is not that big of a deal. Um, and that's it. You keep all your stuff. Um, it does destroy anything that can't be teleported, which is a thing you'll see a while from now. <laughs> so that's, a, but re generally it's, it, that is the nice part of it and that you just keep everything. But yeah, he. Is he spawning those creepy little men? No. They just show they up? They just spawn, yeah. Why? When? The graylings? Under what circumstances? They just spawn randomly. Um, it's but Like, if you're just walking around, stuff will be randomly spawning in the meadows. That's just, like, boar and deer and graylings. They just randomly spawn as you're out and about. Um, but yeah, finally killed him. So when you kill a boss, they drop a trophy, which when you bring it back to the starting... Um, whatever this thing is called here, this area, you can drop their trophy on there and they give you different buffs um, that can be activated. I think it's like, it works for like five minutes at a time and then it has a 20 minute cooldown. So, but Ether lets you um, use a lot less stamina when you run and jump for like five minutes. And that's about it. Um, but it's also, it's very helpful if you're just exploring, so. Um, but yeah, so right now I, I killed him and now I'm just um, doing exploring. Like I, I'm just going around gathering raspberries and blueberries <laughs> and mush. Uh, I'm not gathering mushrooms right now, but I'm going around and mostly just marking where they all are on the map. Where all what are raspberries, blueberries, thistles? Um, there's a bunch of stuff that spawns like that on the ground, and like there'll be raspberry bushes or blueberry bushes, and you go and pick them, and they'll respawn later. So instead of picking them all right now, though, since I can't store everything in just my inventory, I'm just marking where they are on the what map. What is happening? Okay, so now I'm leveling out the ground because um, I'm building my base here based on where I'm at. There's a mountain close by. There's black forest close by. So I'm in the meadow still, which is the safe area, but it's nearby all the other stuff. So I can hopefully go get some stuff from the mountains 
and stuff from the Black Forest nearby um, without having to make a huge trip. So I'm leveling out the area to make... Right now I'm just making a bed, I think. Um, but there'll be there'll be more things that I'm building later. Um, but yeah, I want to get my... Um, How much can you actually hide hold? Down. So the inventory there is limited to that number of spaces, but then it's also... There's a weight limit of like 300 kilograms. What um, number of spaces? What do you mean? Like so it's like 32. I think you'll see when I open it up, it's oh, okay. up in the top left. Um, which I should be doing at some point. Uh, we'll see. It'll pop up at some point. Um, but yeah, so you're limited to that number of spaces. Which, yeah, right there. So a lot of things will have, you know... A certain number of things that can go in a stack. So, like, you can have 50 deer hide in a single space. But those also weigh something. Which, the biggest thing is, like, if you're carrying a stack of wood, you have 50 wood, it weighs, like, 100 kilograms. You can't just fill up all your space with 100 kilograms of wood. Um, because you're limited to also, like, 300 kilograms of weight. So, you're, you know, you can get screwed over both ways there. Um... But yeah, and then here I'm making a little area for a crafting table. Since again, I can't move this stuff around later, I gotta make sure I'm putting it down in a good way because the crafting table, crafting bench, whatever the heck you call it, has these little upgrades to it you gotta place around it too. Um, and they cost a lot. Like, they think the one costs like 20 deer hide or something, maybe 20 leather scraps. Um, but I wanna make sure I'm putting them down in a way where I can put down all the future upgrades as well in a nice little protected area. Why does it need to be protected? Um, well, because if something comes along and destroys it. <laughs> like what? Like other things you'll see later. Okay. <laughs> There's, yeah, you'll... Um, Are there seasons in this game? No. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I mean, you get different weather, but no, it's not like it's going to be winter in the meadows. Um... But yeah, <laughs> yeah, and so I'm just finishing up the crafting, crafting area. Um, I think that's about all I get done in the first episode. Um, we'll see. We'll see what else I get done here. <laughs> Feels like we have another five minutes. We do. <laughs> You're um, saying it wasn't a very productive. Well, I did a lot of exploring. Yeah, I did a lot of exploring. What, the, um, what is this? Okay, so tree? this is in the Black Forest. You can see there's different trees. Okay. It's a lot dense. This is a dungeon in the Black Forest. Ew. Yeah, a lot of skeletons in here. Um, but they have yellow mushrooms that spawn, which is a really nice early food. Because you don't have to grow it. Um, and you don't have to kill something for it. You just pick up the yellow mushrooms. Um, and then there's those red things you're seeing here, circling cores. You need to make smelters. Charcoal kilns. So when we start getting metal, you can start smelting metal, which is going to help us get right. higher tier items. That's one of those red stones <clears throat> we're talking about, the Vague Vizier, that tells us where the Elder is. It's going by kind of fast. <laughs> it should have slowed this down. But so now I know where the next, the boss for the Black Forest is. Okay. It's on my map. Um... Is this like this next area that you're supposed to kill the boss for? Mm hmm. Okay. Black Forest. Can you do them in any order, in theory, if you wanted to? Yeah. Um, the way it's spaced out, though, is normally when you kill a boss, you get something from that boss that will help you get resources or get whatever from the next area. Um, from the deer, you get, from Aether, you get his antlers, which you use to make pickaxes so you can mine metal. Um, because otherwise you can't mine. I mean, you can get around it still. It's not necessary, but it helps okay. a lot. Um, let's see. So I'm finally upgrading some of my stuff, which is super helpful. I think my... I don't know. There's a lot I could go into. Different different mobs have different weaknesses. So skeletons are very weak to uh, blunt when you're using a club to smack them apart. And they're not like... I have a spear, which is stronger than the club, but they're, it doesn't do anything because I'm poking them. You know, the pierce damage doesn't do a lot, but the club does a lot. So it's very helpful to get the club and get it upgraded to take out the skeletons. Um, but which yeah. are a problem in the Black Forest? Or? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, mo- mostly in those dungeons in the Black Forest. But yeah, otherwise the other stuff in the Black Forest are basically stronger graylings, um, which it, the spear is a lot better to them. So, which is why I have a spear in the club. Um, but yeah, I'm already having issues with like managing inventory. I think when the, I went into the first dungeon, I'm trying to grab everything out, and I'm already having to throw stuff out. Um, I made it so that it seems like you should streamline your food. Uh, like only have one or two food sources. Yeah, I agree. Well, so you can you can have three. It's helpful to have three food at a time, basically, like because it's not like you're hungry now. I need to eat to refill. They basically give you more health and more stamina when you eat food, and you can, so you want your three best food, basically. Um, so what there's does that mean? So like, deer meat will increase your maximum health by like 35 okay um and your stamina by seven and then boar meat will increase your max health by 25 and a yellow mushroom will increase your stamina by 25 so you eat those three food and those are the three food that show up in your bar in the bottom left and then that's those are the boosts that you're getting um so you want you want at least three different types of food because those they will all give you buffs to your health and stamina Okay. Um, but I do have a couple more in there because I'm I'm holding on to raspberries because you need raspberries to make better food, some better food, and you need honey to like make po- uh, potions later. But if you marked where you can find raspberries, why wouldn't you just get rid of the raspberries and go back and get them when you need them? Well, I probably should, okay. and that's part of the problem. I'm having to figure out what I can afford to hold on to because it takes it obviously takes time to go and. Harvest Did you them, just put but... a beehive out there? Yeah. So when you find the beehives, you destroy them, you get the queen, and then you can build them. <laughs> so I still have the problem once I've built it here, I cannot take down what I've built. Um, so the beehives got to stay there forever. <laughs> but I so can... the only way to get another queen would be to go find a different beehive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So yeah, that's that's the crux of the issue with this mode is that I, I really want to hold on to a lot of this stuff because it's like I don't really want to have to go back out and grab more raspberries from five different places that have raspberries if I don't have to. Um, but like I, I might need the inventory space. But yeah, anyways, there we, <laughs> there's that one. 